Hello friends, I am Dr. Chanak Chamaria. I am an oral and maxillofacial surgeon practicing in Mumbai. So friends, let's talk about fracture of the lower jaw. Let's talk about jaw injuries. And what we will specifically talk about is one of the most common jaw injuries in the lower jaw. During your sport activities or during an interpersonal violence, it is very much possible that your chin gets hit directly. If you're standing in the sun for a long time due to nausea, okay, a lot of people have fall on their chin. This fall on the chin may result in fracture of the lower jaw. So in case if you while playing sports or during interpersonal violence feel that you have damaged or fractured your lower jaw then this talk is for you. So first when you feel that there can be swelling, redness, pain, inability to open mouth or talk. These troubles are common. Certain uncommon issues would result in difficulty in breathing. If you find you have difficulty in breathing, get an immediate emergency care because it could be sinister. If you feel that you have pain in the joint region in front of your ears or in the chin region, apply ice. Tie a bandage around your head which can be removed very easily if you feel nauseated or claustrophobic. Go to your nearest emergency center, seek their attention. Usually in the emergency center, we will be able to take radiographs and certain x-rays, certain views of x-rays or even better a CT scan would be able to give us a definitive diagnosis of a fracture. In usual cases, fall on chin results in fracture at one or more places. We may have fracture of the joint because it is a thin bone there and if the force is high then it may also result in a chin fracture. These treatments usually involve a surgical component. Although the success rate of the treatment is very high, but it is better if we do these kind of treatments in the first week itself. Because as time goes by, there is fibrosis in the area hardens. So it becomes very difficult for us to approach it through surgery. Better yet, how to prevent it? For interpersonal violence, I can't give you a solution, but for, for your sport related injuries, a mouth guard is a must. If you find that you have only pain or redness, but there is no inability to open or close mouth or difficulty in speaking, then you can apply ice in that region. If there are minor cuts inside the mouth or outside, you can apply a sterile gauze in that area and apply light pressure in that region and visit your emergency care center or your dentist for that matter. So stay safe, stay tuned and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.